to sports, guys. After that incredibly exciting first segment, I'd have to say. It's only getting better. It's going to get a lot better now. Without any guys. further ado, we'd like to introduce our uh, two guests to you, uh, Mike O'Neill hey. and Ron Romano. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Russ. Thanks, Hi. Mark. Thanks for coming. Yeah, He's going to drill you. I know. Yeah, it's right out of the uh, ESPN, too. Uh, now, you guys just uh, had the game this afternoon. Yeah. Heck of a game. Thank you. Uh, who would have thought, eh? Well, it was the last home game. It's been, we won't get into it because the year's basically over, but for the last home game, it was, you know, the crowd was, was crazy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah, well, it hasn't been a banner year. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. And, and, uh, but you're right about that. That's <laughs> I've, exactly right. I've got a question right off the hop. First of all, all your fans are wondering about the leg. Is the leg okay? Y yeah, <laughs> I'll manage. And the second question is, what were you doing there, exactly? Can and of course, explain. You're, you're talking about when he's blocking the shot in the right. game a couple of days ago. Now, I'll tell you, I, I only played. We the highest I got was uh, to junior B. And I, my coaches could be wrong, but they told me. And even there, you were a checker, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. a grinder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, when you're 14 and you're a grinder. Someone <laughs> <laughs> tells me you're not going to. I wasn't playing junior B when I was 14. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, no, I'm I was 12. All right, I'm sorry, okay. But uh, they told me when you block a shot, you kind of have, you direct your body. You have your equipment to sort of absorb the, you know, your shin pads, maybe your pants. Often most of the equipment, you being a goalie, you could verify that. It's mostly in the front of your body. Yeah. But it you took if, it, uh, if you see the puck, too. Oh. But you took a different angle. You lay flat on your stomach yeah. and turned your head the other way. And how yeah. did it, didn't work out that well, I guess. Well, that's not necessarily true. You don't have you to block it with all the pads, you know. He blocked the shot. He did, he did his job. I didn't sure. have to stop. You didn't it. have to yeah. stop. Speaking of stopping, uh, you, uh, you happy with your season this year? You kind of had some highs and lows and... Uh, Gonna look look for a job, I guess, next year, eh? Behind Timmy, or yeah, I hope so. You know, I, I I wish that I w were able to get a win, but uh, that's the only thing that was disappointing for me. I think. But yeah. it doesn't matter that much. I mean, you got like years and years and years ahead of you. I mean, you got lots. Of oh, it doesn't time. matter that much. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get a few along the way. But uh, it would have been nice to get one early. I've got a, I've got a question about goalies. There's all these things about different idiosyncrasies. Glenn Hall puke before every game. I I throw up before every show. <laughs> yeah, I wish you. Uh, I wish you, you know, win, are, is there some kind of uh, thing that you go through ritual or uh, before every game? I try not to puke. Right. That's, That's just a, basically one thing. That's that basically one of my really. rules. Yeah. Really. I try not to puke. But no idiosyncrasy. Just kind of. Not really any uh, idiosyncrasies. I just try to try to get the same routine going. Uh, whether you're starting game, or uh, or uh, on the bench? Yeah, regardless. Really? Yeah. How long before a game Sorry, uh, do you know <clears throat> when you're going to go in? They usually tell us the day before. Is that right? Yeah. And so it's, but shouldn't be any different mental preparation? No. Get a little more be. or less pasta it's the day a, before? Today. Well, it's a little more relaxing. Uh, if you know you're not going in, it's a little more relaxing. But Just I try to prepare play. the same way anyway. How about you? Uh, like more moose in your hair? You have any pregame ritual? <laughs> oh, nice uh, shot! Uh, no, it's not a shot. Oh, is, there, no. is there something you go through to get, <laughs> to get into that zone? <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> I asked them if they had anything prepared. They said no. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Um, no, wait. You just <laughs> wish you had hair. To I wish hair. I did. Look at my helmet. If I had hair like that, I'd <laughs> want to crack about moose. Your gel just doesn't cut it anymore. Yeah, well, I know, I know. They can't improvise but, that well. That no. had to be. No, uh, no, 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 nothing no. special? You don't put uh, your skates on in a special no, order? No, I mean, just like Mike said, you pretty well want to do the same thing, get into routine. I, uh, I eat a score bar. I don't he, know why. He jumps around a lot. Really? He eat a score <laughs> yeah, bar? A, yeah, I just, Might I don't jump know around a little bit first. <laughs> do the jump? Yeah. Any particular, no, uh, what, but if you, like, win, you, you know, you, some guys, like, wear the same, you know, Clothes or socks or something. For oh yeah, for things change once you win. I mean, the other day Walt had on the Jerky Boys, playing in the in the. Have you ever heard? Oh yeah, these Where guys do that prank this? calls and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. So he was playing that in the dressing room before the game. He went out and he scored, scored two goals against uh, Philadelphia against Philly, and so the next game we had to listen to that again. And oh geez. Regardless of how much pain everyone else is going <laughs> <Yeah>. through. <laughs> so like the Ann Murray or the Rankin family, that's actually kind of Ann Murray. Ann Murray made a debut. Get out of here! Oh, yes. what, what? They made it into the dressing room? <laughs> no, she was not in the dressing yeah, so room. Have, her music. They have tunes. No, but I meant. No, I didn't mind her herself, but her music. Uh, well, she's welcome too, but. Her music. She's a, she's a snowbird. Yeah. Is what she is. Right. And nobody croons like Anne Murray. But you she didn't really crazy. listen to her music. We before. were, we were hurting for music one day yeah. in, in Toronto. Like we played in Toronto Saturday, I don't know, three weeks ago. And uh, was when Izzy was still here, Paul Eisenbart, and uh, he was sort of in charge of the music. And somebody says, "Put on Anne Murray." And 
Well, of course, nobody thought he was gonna. So all of a sudden, we're <laughs> humming along to you. Must have given <laughs> the him song. gears like or did put. Oh, half the guys are singing along. I have or... this dance for the rest of my life. I've got a totally different picture now between every uh, between oh. peers. They're gonna think they're listening to you know the. Reason I have kind of an odd picture actually. Uh, we gotta uh, go to a commercial. Uh, when we come back, uh, more with uh, with the boys, Mike and Neil and uh, Russ Romack and, and uh, the Thunder Crunch of the week. Thanks for sticking out.